The DriveCore Install Series Amplifiers, or DCI for short, is the latest amplifier series from Crown designed and manufactured for the installed market in Elkhart, Indiana. Each amplifier model is based on the DriveCore Ruby chip, which incorporates two decades of research in switching amplifier front-end technology. This results in exceptional sound quality, greatly reduced energy consumption and heat dissipation, as well as increased reliability by replacing over 500 parts with a single custom design chip. The DCI amps are available in two, four, and eight channel models of various output power levels. In addition, each model is available in a basic analog package or a network DSP package. These differences will be discussed shortly, but first, let's go over the different models available. As you can see in the chart, there are currently eight different models that are available in both analog and network packages for a total of 16 variations. You can easily determine the channel count and output power by looking at the model number. The first number is the channel count. The second number is the minimum guaranteed output power per channel. In this example, the 4x1250 is a four channel amplifier that is capable of 1250 watts per channel. This diverse amplifier series currently ranges from the 2x300 to the 4x1250 and 8x600, all in a 2U chassis. Model numbers ending in N indicate that they are the networked model. While the core amplifier technology is identical between both the analog and network version, there are some key differences between the two variations. Both variations feature DriveCore at its heart. The performance, reliability, and efficiency of the DriveCore chip is one of the major attributes that sets Crown amps apart from the competition. Every model of DCI is capable of driving high impedance loads directly from the amplifier without the need for an output transformer thanks to the high voltage capabilities, anywhere from 70 volts to 200 volts. Channel pairs can be bridged for greater output power and voltage on all DCI models. Both the analog and network variations feature an advanced power factor corrected power supply. This universal PFC supply delivers power to the amplifier efficiently in almost any condition. The efficient PFC power supply, combined with drive port technology, are just two of the reasons why every model of DCI series is Green Edge compliant. Other factors include reduced material waste due to high power density in a single chassis, packaging made from recycled materials, and more. The networked version of the DCI amps offers some unique benefits that cannot be achieved with the analog models. The networked models can be controlled and monitored through the network using the free Audio Architect software. The network version also includes BlueLink Digital Audio as a selectable input source. The DSP in the networked models also include input processing such as input delay and input EQ, along with output processing such as crossover, output delay, output EQ, and level max limiters to prevent users from having to replace loudspeaker drivers. The level max limiter looks ahead of the signal to accurately predict when exactly and how exactly to limit the output to offer great sound quality even under limiting conditions. To keep all of these DSP settings straight, each networked amp offers 20 presets to store and distribute settings from one amplifier to another. You can also save speaker tunings, which only saves the output processing, including limiter settings, for a single channel. This allows for easy storage and distribution of tunings on a channel-by-channel -channel basis, even across multiple amplifiers. The networked models also include multiple ways to monitor the speaker load, including continuous load monitoring of average impedance, sweep load monitoring, and pilot tone detection. For additional control and monitoring, as well as a way to interface with additional equipment, the network models include a two-in, two-out GPIO that can be custom configured in Audio Architect. All DCI models include an aux port that allows for the amplifier to be turned on and off through a contact closure, as well as an amplifier status port that can be configured as either a heartbeat or a constant 5 volt DC output. Each DCI model has an auto standby feature, which can be enabled for further energy savings in situations where the amplifier is left on at all times. Currently, all models of DCI except for the 4x1250 and 8x600 come equipped with a 15 amp IEC power connector. The 4x1250 and 8x600 come equipped with a 20 amp IEC power connector. All power cords are standard removable IEC cords. Shown here is a front panel image of a DCI 8x600 network amp. The analog version will look virtually identical. In the center of the amp is a series of indicators showing the status of each channel. At the bottom is the ready light, indicating that the channel is on and not in any sort of sleep mode. Above that is the signal light, which detects signal on the input side of the amplifier. The negative 20, negative 10, and clip indicators show the status of the output signal. The clip light will also indicate input clipping in addition to output clipping. At the top are the fault and thermal lights. 
The thermal light will indicate the onset of thermal compression and the fault light will indicate any potential error in the amplifier. Between the channel pairs is the bridge light, indicating that the adjacent channel pairs are bridged. On the right side of the front panel is the power button, power light, and data light. Shown on top is the back panel of a DCI analog amplifier and the network model on the bottom. Taking a closer look at the analog shows the aux port and IEC connectors on the left. In the center there are dip switches for configuration of the aux port, bridge settings, and high impedance mode, as well as attenuators for each channel. On the right are the balanced analog input connectors, and at the bottom are the touch-proof terminal strip output connectors capable of accepting up to 10 gauge wire. The network model has the same aux port and IEC connector as the analog versions on the left side. In the center is the GPIO port, Ethernet control monitoring port, and Blue Link in out ports. The channel attenuators are located to the right of the network ports. Like the analog version, the balanced analog inputs are located on the right and the outputs on the bottom. Thank you for watching this video. For questions, comments, or suggestions regarding this or any other video, please send them to the email address shown below. For technical assistance, please call the Technical Support Department or email them at the options shown below.